All right, so what we have is cosine of theta equals five over seven. And what we need to do is we need to figure out the six trigonometric functions of our angle theta. So when given a problem like this, the main important thing is we need to figure out, when we're trying to find, figure out all six trigonometric functions, we need to make sure that we draw a triangle, and then also we, that we have all sides of the triangle figured out. So if I say here's theta and there's my right triangle, we know that opposite of my right triangle is my hypotenuse. Now the cosine tells us that we have 5 as my adjacent side and 7 as my hypotenuse. Therefore, I do not know what my opposite side is going to be. However, I can use Pythagorean theorem, 5 squared plus x squared, leg squared plus leg squared always equals your hypotenuse squared. So I have 25 plus x squared equals 49, subtract 25, x squared equals 24, square root, both sides, x equals 2, radical 6. So therefore, my opposite side is now going to be, actually I'll write that in, 2, radical 6. So therefore, from there, I can now figure out the rest of them. So if I know cosine is 5 over 7, that means sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which will be 2, square root of 6, over 7. Tangent of theta, remember, is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 2 radical 6 over 5. Now, to get into the reciprocal identities, we're going to have a little fun. So first one, let's just do in back and mortar. So secant of theta, remember, is the reciprocal function of cosine. Therefore, I'm just going to take the reciprocal of 5 over 7 to represent the secant of theta. Then the reciprocal of sine was cosecant of theta. So to take the reciprocal of that function, I'll have 7 over 2 radical 6. Now remember, we can't have a square root on the bottom. So I'm going to reduce by rationalizing the denominator to give me 7 radical 6 divided by 12. As square root of 6 times square root of 6 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And then last but not least, I have cotangent of theta, which is the reciprocal of 2 square root of 6 over 5 which will be 5 over 2 radical 6. Again, rationalize the denominator, and you get 5 radical 6 over 12. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you uh, find the six trigonometric functions when given one trigonometric function and creating a right triangle. Thanks.